So how did we get here? Well, tonight we are looking back at the crimes that led to his conviction. Seven investigator Ross Jones looks back at the mayor's crimes along with one of the first reporters to expose them. Whether Kwame Kilpatrick's 28-year prison sentence was excessive or fair will be debated, and it should be. But what is not debatable tonight is the depth of his corruption and the damage it did to his city. The judge certainly sent a powerful message to the people of Detroit that this kind of betrayal of the public trust will not be tolerated. Nearly eight years have passed since Kwame Kilpatrick was convicted of 24 counts of extortion, mail fraud, tax violations, and racketeering. There was so much evidence against the former mayor, it took the feds six months just to present their case. He was convicted of rigging city contracts so his friend, Bobby Ferguson, could make millions. He shook down city contractors for free jet travel so that they wouldn't lose their city business. He stole from a foundation meant to help needy children and seniors to pay for his family vacations, golf clubs, and spa retreats. And even after he was convicted, Kilpatrick never took responsibility or showed remorse. Those things were wrong. They were wrong, admittedly. Even his most ardent supporters who helped secure his commutation don't make excuses for Kilpatrick's behavior. But they do insist his lengthy sentence was based in part on his race. I believe he's the tone for that. Um, I believe he has paid his debt to society for that. He can't practice law anymore. He will continue to pay. How? How did Kwame's supporters pull this off? I mean, I just can't imagine the conversations that must have taken place that talked Trump or any of his people into thinking, yeah, this is a good idea. Former Channel 7 investigative reporter Steve Wilson followed today's news on the former mayor he helped expose. So much of the misconduct Wilson uncovered was ultimately used to convict Kilpatrick in 2013. And the numbers that you hear tossed around about how much he stole brought that city to its knees. And it's going to take years. And, you know, I watched Detroit and it's doing a, a great job of coming back, but it's got a long way to come. And he did a lot of damage. Today, from his home in Florida, Wilson said that while Donald Trump may have seemed like the last politician to commute Kilpatrick's sentence, the two have more in common than meets the eye. Although they're quite different, they are very similar. They both were the same kind of personalities, and they both seemed to do same, the same kinds of things for the same reasons. While Kilpatrick's release is immediate, his friend and former co-defendant Bobby Ferguson was not so lucky. His sentence is scheduled to run another 14 years. We're in Detroit tonight. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right. Thank you so much, Ross. A Michigan man charged 